Hey everybody, my name is Kyle Bullock. I am glad to be back with you here on the platform. I've got a sales training video for you today. I am gonna be talking about my shoe a lot, and then I'm gonna give you a teaser for something that's coming onto the platform real soon, and you're gonna be the first to know about it, or at least hear a little bit about it. So let's get right into it. I have a show and tell for you today for today's sales training, and check it out. It's my shoe. It's like, that's, that's it. That's, this, this is all I have to show you today. And if you look at it, <laughs> you're going, yeah, that's, that's a shoe. It's a size 12, I think, 12 and a half. For those of you who are more uh, astute in the world of shoes, that you're going to notice that this type of shoe is a running shoe. And for those of you who are in the world of running or really like shoes, then you'll know that this very loud print of running shoe is a Brooks. Brooks makes running shoes. Um, and if you're very astute and you know your athletics and running, then you know that this particular running shoe has seen a lot of running and it really needs to be retired because it's gotten its three or 400 miles in it. And now it's it's no more, it's no, it's no good for running. So you've seen my shoe, a Brooks Adrenaline um, loud print running shoe. And you've learned a lot of facts about it, but what you don't know is why this particular shoe is important to me. This shoe has a particular story. It also has, a, it also has the left foot, by the way. I'm not, I'm not only right-footed. <laughs> it has a very interesting story for me. It's important to me. Uh, and I think when I really truly retire this really soon, I'm going to nail it to my garage wall as a keepsake, a memento of what it means to me. Now we all kind of have stuff like this at home. And in fact, for your sales training this week, what I'd like you to do for the sales team is to go home and pick up an item, much like my shoe, maybe a keepsake, maybe a memento of some kind, a souvenir, whatever it is, it has to be something that has a story behind it that's special and significant to you. Bring it to work for the sales meeting, but don't tell anybody what you're bringing. Put it in a box, put it in a bag, or some way to conceal it when you get to, uh, to sales training with the rest of your team. Now. Here's how the exercise works. Everybody has their particular item of choice of significance, and you're going to do a little bit of role playing. One of you is going to be the salesperson, and the other person is going to be the customer. Now, the salesperson's job is to find out as much about that person based on their item as they can in three to five minutes. So, what you're going to do is if you're the salesperson, you'll ask me, the customer, to show me what you brought in today, and I'll pull out my shoe. And now for the next three to five minutes, your goal as a salesperson is to find out as much about this shoe and its relationship to me. Why is it important to me and its story as you possibly can by simply having a conversation. Now, a couple of tips that's gonna help you in this. Actually set a timer for three to five minutes and have a genuine conversation with somebody. First tip I'm gonna give you is ask mostly questions. If you're the salesperson, ask a lot of questions. Avoid making statements. Um, ask them about what's the significance. Once they tell you that, then ask a little bit more and go deeper and deeper as much as you can in three to five minutes uh, and as much as the other person is willing to share. And then the other tip I'm gonna give you for the salespeople uh, role in this one, avoid telling stories about yourself. If I had pulled out my shoe and showed you my running shoe and you were also a runner and you also had Brooks and you could go, oh, look, do you have Brooks, I have Brooks, I'm running for a marathon and, and training and I love my Brooks. And you would think, well, we're connecting, right? We, we have something in common. But in reality, what the other person's hearing is, well, you're just telling stories about yourself. And no offense, as a customer, I didn't come into your business today to really learn anything about you. I came in probably with a question or I'm looking for something in particular and I'm kind of more interested in me. Everybody is, every customer is. And so avoid telling stories about yourself. Even if you can relate to their item or relate to their story, avoid telling stories about yourself unless they specifically ask you, hey, you've realize this is a running shoe, are you also a runner? Then respond with a very short and simple, honest answer. And then turn the stories 
back onto them. Ask the questions of them to find out as much as you can in three to five minutes. And really, the goal here is just to have good and interesting conversations with your colleagues about things that are important to them in three to five minutes. Now, this exercise comes from a study that I read that had salespeople doing this with one another. The goal here is to connect with people as much as you can in as short amount of time as possible and turn the conversations all to the customer. And in this study, the people who were in the test group were the ones who did the exercise with the special item and the ones who were in the control group just went out there and started to sell. The people in the test group who had these conversations first and did this role play exercise, in the study, they sold 30 to 40% more immediately following the exercise than the other guys did. That's extraordinary. And maybe that happens for you in your business. I don't know, I, I would certainly hope so. But regardless, this exercise gives you a chance to practice developing meaningful relationships with people in short amounts of time based on completely random items and objects. Very, very useful tool in the salesperson's arsenal. And of course, if you're asking the question to yourself, well, why is this shoe so special to me? I'm not gonna tell you <laughs> because you didn't ask. If you would like to know and you see me in the wild, you can certainly ask me anytime what on earth is with that wild print shoe that you showed on the platform? I'd like to know more about it. Uh, or you can message us and find out more, which provides an interesting segue because I hope to see many of you a lot more here on the platform. See, Jimmy and I are working together to create a new resource that we're gonna be unveiling very, very soon that's specifically geared towards managers and leaders of small retail companies like yours. We wanna help you develop your leadership skills and your management skills to become profitable businesses that do not run you. We don't want your business to run you. We want you to run your business the way you've always dreamed that it could and that it should and give you that healthy work-life balance that you've been hoping for for maybe years. Now, if you're a one-man show and you're the only person uh, who's really taking point on projects in your store, well, then this would be a great platform addition that will help you learn to delegate and, uh, and get more off of your plate. And for those of you who have teams, this is hopefully gonna be a great platform resource to help empower your teams to lead and take on more responsibility and give everybody a better work-life balance. That's all I'm gonna tease for now. If you would like to know more or that's ringing true for you and you go, I would really like to know more about that before anybody else in the world, then we're gonna have a link to an email in the description of this video. Click on that link, send me an email and say, I am interested in whatever it is that you guys are cooking up. And I would maybe even like to be the first to try it out before anybody else in the world. It's gonna be a low cost solution to management training with practical steps, just like you experienced today in this sales video. So shoot us an email, let us know if that applies to you and you wanna learn more before anybody else in the world does. Now, as far as your sales training video uh, for today and your random object assignment, I hope it goes incredibly well. Best of luck to you, and I can't wait to see you next time here on the platform.